Hello! Today we've got work-based learning, scheduling, and our rivals are winning! All this and more on today's episode of the Cat's Eye News. Last Saturday, Novi Science Olympiad achieved their first competition victory in team history, placing first place overall at the Plymouth Canton Invitational, with eight first place placements across 23 events. Cultiverse is back with my new permanent co-host, Caleb White. Be sure to check out our new episode this Friday on the Cat's Eye News YouTube channel. See you later, Nova. Mega Mind 2, which I'm not excited for in the slightest because it looks horrible. What do you think? Mega Mind 2? Yep. Wasn't there already Mega Mind 2? No, are you talking about that red button one? I think so, yeah. No, I was like a sub one. You didn't see the trailer? For the, the show? No. Oh. No, that's not a show. That's a movie. It's a movie? Yeah. You talking about, did you see it recently? Yeah. That's a movie. That's a movie. That's a movie. Mega Mind 2. Okay. <laughs> that just puts this in a whole different thing. Okay. For a lot of these things, right, they're making a whole lot of um, remakes. Hey, Novi, next Wednesday the 14th during advisory, we're going to be getting our scheduling forms for next year, and those are going to be due on February 26th. Additionally, courses requiring an application will be due on February 16th. If next week you do not have an advisory or you do not receive a form, you can pick one up in student services. What if there was a class that you could add to your schedule next year that allows you to work a job, get career ready, and get a senior math credit all in one? Meet work-based learning. You should take work-based learning if you're looking to develop your resume. It's important to get out and learn basic skills, whether it's from answering the phone, taking care of customers, or doing things on time. And it fits really nicely into your schedule. Generally, work-based learning fits best sixth hour and the student leaves the building somewhere around 2.20 to go to a 3.30 or a 4 o'clock work shift can be arranged in first hour, and we have seven district positions. One of those is even fourth hour. There are two types of jobs that work with WBL, in district and out of district. In district jobs next year will include opportunities in counseling, communications, athletics, and more. Now, here's Henry, a work-based learner in counseling with more. From day-to-day -day jobs, I can do anything from managing student traffic for appointments to filing um, documents, uh, running our social media. And what have you gotten out of it specifically? Um, I'd say the communications to um, kids and adults as well, so having the professional communication with people um, and kind of just getting that experience in a workplace. However, work-based learning jobs aren't just limited to in-district. To learn more about her experience in work-based learning, we went to Pliables in Northville to interview work-based learner Kenzie and her supervisor, Joey. Kenzie, why do you take work-based learning? Because it gives me a really flexible schedule and I get to leave school early to work more hours. And how do you see this benefiting you in the future? Um, I've gained a lot of skills working more just with people skills and just working with a team. Yeah, yeah, exactly. When uh, we need people... She's school, on the clock. Yeah, yeah, she comes in. Now, what if you want to join this class next year? Three things. Please come see Mrs. Moss in room 218. There's a two-page application. All the rules are on the front. Information I need is on the second page. It needs to be read, completed, signed by your parent and turned back into me before heading to counseling. You'll also need a resume and to see Mrs. Kerbrat in room 235 for your Zello or your educational development plan. All right, here's an update on the Novi Northville Rivalry Week. We are losing bad. We are losing so bad. They're crushing us right now because you get points for every single item donated and they've collected over 600 items including socks, deodorant and chapstick. If we're gonna catch up and win, knock on wood, here are some things you can do to help. Donate more items during 4th hour tomorrow. Each item is worth 1 to 2 points. Come to the Polar Plunge today after school at 3.30 p.m. in the Taft lot and donate money. The school that raises the most money will earn 400 points and at this point, Northville has raised more money than we have. 
Attend the unified game today after school in the gym at 5.30 p.m. 200 points will be given to the school with most students in attendance. Also, attend the girls and boys varsity basketball games at 6 and 7.30 p.m. tomorrow at Northville. 100 points go to the school with the most people in attendance. Even if we win the points for most students in attendance for all three games, we still need to donate more items and raise more money. Remember that you can purchase Rivalry Week t-shirts for $12.50 in the atrium during all lunches today. And make sure you're wearing green and white for the Wildcat colors tomorrow. Let's win this thing and have a great day, Wildcats. You have a story that you want featured on the Cat's Eye News? Email us at nhscatseyenews at gmail.com. Just send us details, pictures, and videos, and we'll do the rest.